So let's uh, talk about Aaron Rodgers. Everyone knows uh, I follow Aaron Rodgers a lot, so but this story really couldn't be ignored. So Aaron Rodgers did an interview with Kenny Mayne and a late night ESPN show. It was like 11 p.m. on Monday. He tried really hard to not make it about himself instead about Kenny since it's his last ESPN show. Rodgers had a huge emphasis on the people and philosophy of the Green Bay culture. Uh, let me pull out the quote for you. With my situation, look, it's never been about the draft pick, picking Jordan. I love Jordan. He's a great kid. We've had a lot of fun to work together. Love the coaching staff. Love my teammates. Love the fan base in Green Bay. An incredible 16 years. It's kind of just about the philosophy and maybe forgetting that it's about the people that make the thing go. It's about character. It's about culture. It's about doing things the right way. Yeah, uh, what that quote really tells me, it's... Um, he he appreciates the players, fans, and staff. He believes the culture of Green Bay is the people for what they do. This includes doing the right thing for the culture. This tells me that he thinks the Packers front office screwed up. It's not about Jordan Love. It's about how the decision was communicated. The Packers did not give Rodgers a heads up when they internally agreed on picking up their quarterback for the future. Now Rodgers feels slighted since the front office wants to keep him all of a sudden after winning the MVP. When they drafted Love, they were pretty much ready to move on from him. It's still unclear what Rodgers wants from Green Bay to make it right. It could be more help, it could be a trade, or it could just be a formal apology. I've been told some of, actually most of wide receivers skipped OTAs. I know it's voluntary, but I think it's sending a message that they stand by their quarterback. After hearing the, this interview, I'm confident he's in a happy place. He didn't really speak spitefully about anyone, really. I think Green Bay could make it right and get him to stay. Just kind of more on that uh, interview, uh, Kenny Maines was, he's a very like sarcastic guy, dry sense of humor person. He was talking about how Rogers told him to get into cryptocurrency and now that he's struggling, he has to buy a, he lost his job, has to buy a comforter and he screwed and told him to, he told him quote unquote, Fuck you, Rod Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and of course, he just shrugged it off and just laughed about it just because Rodgers is kind of a troll like that. Rodgers is actually pretty busy. He's on vacation with his fiance Shailene, Miles Teller, and his wife. And he can sing Taylor Swift. I saw a video of him on Instagram singing one of her songs. And he will be playing golf with Bryson um, DeChambeau against Phil Mickelson and Tom Brady. I think that's a box office event. If you ask me, I might even watch it. I mean, watch golf. I have my money on Rogers' team because golf is a sport about being wit and being calm. Excuse me. It's a sport of wits and being calm. I know this because the correlation of the number of times I say, God damn it, equals the amount of swings it takes for me for get, to get the ball to the hole. You got to be patient and calm and cannot let your anger get to you. And we all know Brady likes to throw fits, so we'll see how it turns out for him because he's been all about that smoke on Twitter. And Roger's been clapping back at him, too. He had this uh, video, a Star Wars video of the uh, of like Han Solo and Luke Skywalker, and then he had his their heads on their bodies, and then they're facing off uh, Boba Fett and Jabba the Hutt, which is Tom Brady and Phil. So it's, it's been fun. Uh, we'll see what they get into. Maybe there'll be some more smoke.